That's pretty awesome. Story of my life right here. Yep. Hello? What you doing? Um, get my car to the home with Oh, what? Guess what happened to me, dude? Yeah. What? When I got home and pulled my driveway, my radiator yeah. blew the f up. What? Yeah, I have a huge crack going down the side of it. And it's leaking cooling everywhere. Damn, dude. I know. So, I'm about to be $200 more in the fucking hole. And I gotta yeah. put that bitch on like right now because I gotta pick up the car in the morning. Holy. I know, right? So That's I'm on crazy, my way to AutoZone dude. to get a radiator and I'll be freezing <laughs> my balls off in my driveway. Put it not... in. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yep. That's crazy. Story of my life, man. Like I'm just driving around leaking cooling everywhere. <laughs> Hopefully I have it for you. Yeah, I hope so. Alright. Well I'll talk to you later, bro. I just want to let you know right, about the shit luck I was having. Yes indeed. Alright, dude. <laughs> later man. Right. Phone call completed. Let's go get a radiator. Alright, so it's 46 degrees outside. AutoZone did have a radiator in stock. So we're going to rip this leaking radiator out and throw in the new one. And hopefully everything goes well so the truck can be ready for in the morning. Drain the coolant. Get the light in there. Do make a clip removal tool to remove these. But when it's 48 degrees outside, it's 7 o'clock at night, you don't care. See? It's off. Put my electric fan here. So obviously, I deleted my fan clutch. It's free. You just take it off. Pull this upper radiator hose off. I make a little bit of a mess. Ah, didn't make a mess at all. It's awesome. Never happens. Don't peel. Pull the radiator hose. Zip them off. Oops. Not good for the environment. Just kidding, I'm gonna clean that up. Maybe. Alright, looks like we got 10. 13 is maybe. These are just two 13 bolts that hold the radiator to the radiator support frame. You know, you can always tell when I'm planning a video and when it's kind of sprung up on me because if I plan a video, I have all my tools, my nice tools, that are at the shop right now. When it's sprung on me, I just kind of wing it and use what I have. How many threads is there? Yes. 
transmission cooler lines. I, uh, come on, man. Stay up there, dude. I'm just dumping cooling anyway, dude. Nothing like working all day in the shop and coming home. You're already froze your ass off at work. And now you get to work in a driveway and freeze your ass off for free. A 10 millimeter socket to remove the little bolt that holds the AC lines to the radiator. Nope. It's gonna make me do this the hard way. Brackets there. Huh? Sorry, Andrew. All these All right, so make sure you compare your new radiator with your old radiator. And uh, for one, make sure it's the right one. And two, like for me, I got to swap over these little rubber bushings. You don't want to forget to put that on while you already have it in a truck. So let's go ahead and do that now. So the truck's running, it's about 9.30 at night. So I'm gonna pick up and I will see you in the morning. All right. Yeah. That looks flat. What's up? It's eight o'clock in the morning, Saturday. Radio's installed, everything looks good with that. I did notice my Driver rear tire just now is flat, so I'm at to fix that. Then we're off to go get the trailer. A buddy of mine was nice enough to donate a car to me and my wife, so we're gonna be picking that up this morning. 